What's going on here? Look at this beautiful dicking. And look at the size of my dick. Oh no, let's put that all over it. What do you got today, Scott? Well, we have a little friend here. Oh, Little wee hedgehog. What's his name? Harry? <laughs> Harry. <laughs> Maybe by the flowers. Let's see if there's any more. On our first renovation on the channel, we just kept finding those. There had to be like five or six. Yeah. It's concrete pour day. We've got about two cubic meters of concrete coming, and we've got 18 holes. But we're about to add another three for the. We're about to add another three for the stairs. You feel the concrete fever? <laughs> Ready for the pour! We did it, right? We did it. Yeah. That looks like a concrete truck. This is my other laser, the Bosch one. I bought this a couple years ago and it's been really good and one of the things I like about it is it has the receiver. We're working our heights off the French door here. We want the top of our decking to be approximately, approximately here. Alright, so we know that the laser is set to the finished top of deck height and we basically measure up in order to go down. This part used to always confuse me as an apprentice. Oh. So we're gonna work out now the decking, the joist, and then the bearer, and we're gonna measure from here up, and that's where the laser receiver will go. And that'll give us top of post. So we've got varying degrees of width here. Sometimes it's the machining, but often it's just the moisture in the timber. So we're gonna pick an average, it's only a deck, 140 mils. That's the joist, and then the bearers underneath are going to be bigger. Welcome back to the episode, Jess. Hello. How have you been going? I'm amazing. I have a back injury. So 
I haven't really been mm. about much, but I'm feeling much better. Um, I bought these out for you, but I took a bite out of yours. That's my commission. How dare you. How's your back now? It's still sore, so I, you know, I would have been on here with the nail guns and everything, but. <laughs> totally, yeah. Honestly, unfortunately, I'm just having to take easy. Fortunately, I have New Zealand's best builder building my deck. Oh, thanks, Jess. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so kind of you to say <laughs> This is unacceptable. Good. There's a few things to consider, uh, namely the fact that we're going to have a picture frame border around this deck, and also the fact that we're going to have built in stairs with no stringers. So when you have a deck as long as this, it goes further than a length of timber, it's important to remember to stagger the joists, stagger the joints. For example, I've got a long one here, and then this one stops back here, and then the next one over is long again. The reason I do that is I don't want the join and the joist to all be in the same place, because that could be like a weak point, you know, that part of that can move independently from the other part. So you stagger them. Check out Jess's garden, by the way. It looks amazing. I mean, look at all this. There's bees everywhere. Lovely sunflowers as tall as me. That's amazing. SBC gardening. Ray's cutting the rest of the joist pieces, ready to fix them all off. Garden's looking amazing, Jess. Yeah, it's, it, if you look closer, it does need more work, but I just can't do it at the moment. But no, whatever, it, you know what, you're right. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> What about this dick? <laughs> oh my god, how hilarious are all these? Originally on the plan, I had the stairs going off on an angle across here in an effort to make the deck not feel so imposing but also not cut off this garden here. I wanted it to kind of flow around a bit more. And then someone in the comments actually pointed out that it's probably not a good idea to introduce an angle where there is no reason for an angle like your eyes are going to look at it and go why is that there and I think this is a great point so we decided to actually bring the stairs you know in line with the with the deck and you'll have one tread here another tread here within the deck line and then we'll have a tread out here that will sit separate but it will complete the staircase so that basically means this square space here is for the stairs you know where this is going that's right, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your online presence and run your business. And they also happen to be the sponsor of today's exciting episode. And on top of that, they are helping me pay for this decking. They don't know it, but... <laughs> Whether you're selling an online product or you're selling your services online, Squarespace is a beautiful template-based website that will help you design your website. You don't need no coding, you don't need to understand HTML. You can just use their drag and drop functionality. And they make sure that your website automatically scales to fit whatever device it's being viewed on. You can even get custom domains via your Squarespace website. They got it all, but don't take my word for it because Squarespace also offer a free trial. So you have nothing to lose. And then once you're ready to launch your website, head over to squarespace.com forward slash Scott Brown Carpentry to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. That's the sound of the trailer locking up as I break. Uh, that was a bit nerve-wracking. It was a creative enterprise by the forklift driver there to get it all on the trailer. Beautiful. And I'm definitely pushing the limits of my van right now, carrying this weight. And anyway, we're not up to the decking, are we? I'll show you the decking at the end. Back to the framing. Oh, 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 look at that. This is the start of the indoor-outdoor flow. I'm excited. 
I'm genuinely excited. It's that time of day, right? What's that? This? No, like the... Um, pasta with salmon and some uh, haricot vert. In a gherkin jar. What's the, uh, uh, what was the last thing? Before the gherkin jar? Haricot vert. It's like green beans in mm. French. The thin ones. Interesting um, way of containing it. Yeah, we ran out of sistema, so... <laughs> Look at this, all from the garden, snow peas. There's so much going on back there that <laughs> we didn't see this one growing. I'm gonna get stick for this. Should we finish framing the stick? After lunch? Yep. Imagine this was your decking board. It's gonna sit like that. Half on there. And it'll overhang the front. And then this decking board will be like that. Wow! How exciting! Let's take a look at it. Check it out! Look at that. What do you think, Jess? That's so nice. It's beautiful, huh? Yeah, it silvers off though, eh? Yeah, most timber does. I like I like the way it looks now, though. <laughs> can you um can you use like a deck sealant or something? Uh, we'll have to figure that out. Schaefer's deck sealant, maybe. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next exciting episode where we start laying this stuff down and we might even look at the stairs as well. We'll see how we go. See you in the next one. <laughs>